When we're talking about HR data analysis, the ability to interpret HR data, Excel is a powerful tool. I'm going to be releasing a series on Excel functions for HR data analysis and it will be in different parts and each of these functions I'm going to compile them in a PDF in a PDF document which you could be able to uh, get to download by checking uh, the instruction that is showing on your screen right away so I'm going to get into Excel and I'm going to be expo I'm going to be looking at each of these Excel functions and I'm going to be giving examples we're going to be starting with Excel text functions. Within Excel, there are a few functions that are very powerful, that is very useful for HR data analysis. When you're talking about your employee data and you want to be able to clean uh, the text functions within Excel, uh, I know a few people are very familiar with using Microsoft Word, so, but in Excel, there are a lot of powerful Excel functions that you can use to clean your data and they are very useful for HR data analysis. So let's look at this example. Uh, we have first name and last name of employees, and you want to combine them to get the full name of your employee. There's a function in Excel called concatenate. It's a text function that you can easily do that. And how do you evoke that? Just equals to concant. And the interesting thing about Excel is that Excel helps you to understand. Once you start to type a formula starting with equals to, Excel will start to complete it and give you suggestion. For this illustration, I'm using Microsoft 365, which has the latest version of Excel. And as I write concant, so for lower versions, you see concatenate in full, but for newer versions, you see concant, it still does the same thing. So I'm going to use that concant. The interesting thing about it, once I type in concant, the first thing you're going to see is that Excel will tell you what that function does. And concant helps you to join several text strings together. So when you have more than one text string, we have first name of employee and the last name. We want to combine that together. We use concant. And this is it. The argument is very interesting. The first thing is that you will point to the, the first text, which is the first name, comma, and the second name and i would close my bracket and enter now but the very first challenge you're going to notice is that the space there's no space between the names so i'm going to go back into that and i'm going to do a quick modification rather than uh, just put the second text i'm going to put a space or a comma if i want to do that but i want to do a space this time around and what do i need to do I'm going to put in, and when you're putting special characters within an Excel function, you would use your double quotation marks. I'm going to put in the double quotation, then space, double quotation, comma, then I'll point to the second text. And there you are, all the two uh, names, first and last name is now joined together. And I will use my flash fill just to be able to do a lot and if you have multiple or a large set of data this is all you just need to do once now the next conversation is the upper function the excel function for upper what upper does let's as usual write it out and see what excel is going to complete so excel already has that upper it convert a text string to all upper cases a text string to all upper cases i'll double click on that and what that does is that i have the first name and the last name of the employee as full name we have that as brown mayor i want that to give me all uppercase numbers so i'll point to that text close bracket and enter and that's what the upper uh, text function does in excel and i want to fill that down and all of that is completed using my flash fill. Now, what if I want to write all of that in small letter on small cases? I'll use lower. And as usual, immediately I start to write. Excel tells me what the function is going to do. It converts all letters in a text string to lowercase. Open brackets. I point to what I want to turn to lowercase. Close the bracket and that is done and you can notice that everything is written as small cases. Now, what if I have this from my HR software and I need to write it as proper uh, names, meaning uh, 
the first letters of each of the words within the name, I want it to be capitalized. That is where your proper function in Excel comes in. And there you have it, proper. Immediately I type that. It, you see the very first one, all the options are given. Proper convert a text string to proper case, which means the first letter in each word to uppercase and all other letter to lowercase. So I'll write lower, proper, double click. I point to uh, the text within that space and I enter. And you could see that all of the first letters of the words have now been written in capital letters. So I would auto fill down and I have all of that sorted out. It comes in. You would notice I'm using uh, more than one function in Excel uh, as it were. So it's almost like a crash course on data cleaning using Excel text function. I have two more functions to go uh, and that two functions will be trim and clean trim and clean now there are times when you download uh, your excel function or your data file and you notice that uh, there are spaces or unprintable characters how do you clean that within excel that is where your trim function comes in so trim and you will see what it does trim removes spaces from a text string except for a single space between the words so what it means if you look in deeply at this words you'll notice there are spaces in between and a novice in excel will start to maybe double click and start to remove that no you don't need to do that all you need to do is to do click clean trim and what trim is going to do for you see the magic of trim in Excel, it removes the spaces, trim, then I point to the text and enter. What do you notice? All the spaces or the trailing spaces between Brown and Mia has been removed and Excel will only will, will remain one single space. And that's the beauty of the Excel trim function. And I would auto fill, auto fill down, uh, and there you have it. I have all of that. That's using spaces or necessary spaces within your words, within your uh, text. The last one I'm going to be looking at is the clean function. Now, for the clean function in Excel, uh, what does the clean function do? If you notice, if you look in very well, you will notice there are some uh, printable characters that is not recognizable. That is why maybe this was downloaded from an HR software or a CSV file converted from one version of Excel to another, and it's giving it as unprintable character. You can actually get that removed in Excel using the clean function. So what do you do? You click uh, clean, and what does it do? Excel is telling us what it does. It removes all non-printable characters from a text. And you open brackets, point to the clean and enter now one thing you will notice is this the unprintable character is gone but there's a problem the problem is that the spaces are still there so if i do this down you will notice now that wow what's happening i thought the unprintable characters are off but why is the space there this is where you you might be able to now introduce the trim functionality. So sometimes in Excel, when you're doing data cleaning for text functions, you might need to use more than one function together. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to introduce the clean functionality. So if I do this, I now use trim on this you will notice that it removes the trailing spaces. But the lazy mouse way of doing Excel or doing data cleaning is to write one single formula. And how do I do that? I'm gonna go back into Excel, into that uh, where I introduced the trim, the clean function, and I'm gonna put in trim. And what I'm saying here is that I want Excel to whatever results you have from the clean functionality in excel on the text after the unprintable character has been taken out i want excel to now remove the trailing spaces and once you introduce more than one uh, function which is a next step function you would need to close the bracket and i'll close the bracket and i would do enter you notice the trailing text is off and for me now i'm just going to uh, 
or to fill that down and that is completed. I want to believe you've learned something today. Uh, join me uh, in the next series where we're taking another beautiful Excel function that is useful for HR data analysis. And remember to click the subscribe button so that you get notified once I release that video. I'll see you in the next video.